The Jelko Pole Choker is the lineman-friendly device for restricting falls when climbing wooden poles. Designed in the early 1990s, the Pole Choker meets the CSA and ASTM requirements for wood pole fall restricting devices and is the most widely used device of this kind in the world. The Pole Choker is available in four sizes, 1.4 meter for small distribution and communication poles, 1.6 meter for most distribution structures, 1.9 meter for most transmission structures, and the 2.1 meter for large transmission poles. Pole Choker models four and six have factory installed grippers for use on poles that are slippery due to ice, rain, or for any other reason. Temporary grippers, number 13037, are also available. They must be installed per factory instructions for maximum performance. The snap hooks are simply standard pull strap snaps. One snap may have a parking ring for holding the ejector snap when climbing over an obstacle. A snap hook on one end connects to the one and three quarter inch brown neoprene coated nylon web. This is the standard pole strap material with a red center. There is a standard buckle adjustment for varying the length. The brown six ply nylon passes through a forged metal frame that is sewn onto one and three quarter inch yellow woven web. The yellow nylon has a red core. It passes through the snap hook, the PC roller, and is connected to the ejector snap. This PC roller is attached to the brown nylon strap and also has a slot to direct the yellow material around the front of the pole, allowing the brown and yellow webbing to choke the pole. The PC roller has two gaffs on the top and on the bottom that dig into the pole to restrict a fall. The PC roller, and this is very important, the PC roller must be engaged against the pole for the pole choker to operate correctly. Let me say this again. For the pole choker to operate correctly, it must be adjusted properly. The most important aspect of the adjustment is for the PC roller to be against the pole as illustrated. This will allow the gas to engage and dig into the pole in the event of a cutout or a misstep on the pole. We will discuss this more later in the video. From the PC roller, the yellow material passes through the ejector snap, which has two distinct functions. First. It completes a connection around the pole by linking the D-ring to the brown material. The snap hook is unique in that it can be operated when there is tension on the strap. Simply pulling on the lever action gate forces the D-ring out of the nose of the hook. There is no squeezing, just a pull. Reconnect by hooking the snap into the D-ring. This hook has a friction adjuster with a handle that allows you to lengthen or shorten the yellow strap. This is not the only way to adjust the length of the yellow strap. We will soon look into a couple of other ways. Finally, as noted earlier, the sliding D-ring completes the connection of the strap. It has a clip that keeps the D from sliding around the pull when it is not connected to the ejector snap. The unique design of the pole choker allows the PC roller and in turn the adjustment of the device to be made from either the left or right side. Simply turn the choker over to move the PC roller from one side to the other. Once you have determined if you want to work the device from the left or right, the pole choker must be adjusted for the size of the pole. This is done the same way as a standard pole strap. Just determine how far you want to be from the pole and adjust the length accordingly. Note the position of the PC roller and the buckle frame. They are on the 8 to 9 o'clock position and together at the end of the brown strap. Starting with them in this position will reduce the adjustments needed to be made as you climb. Confirm that the tongue on the buckle is completely through the hole and seated before proceeding. Connect the ejector snap to the sliding D-ring and move the sliding D into the pole. Note, one third of the pole is covered by the yellow strap and the PC roller is against the pole. This is what the pole choker should look like before you begin to climb. Start by pulling slack in the choker and properly positioning your hands. To gather slack, simply place your hand behind the sliding D-ring and move it toward the PC roller, pulling back slightly. With the middle two, or bowling fingers, the opposite hand, grab both the strap going to the belt and the cross strap. Keep at least an inch of distance between your hand and the PC roller. Place the other hand behind the sliding D-ring. Note there should be about two inches, or measure three fingers, between the cross strap and the pole when moving the pole choker up or down the pole. 
Your hands must not interfere with the operation of the pull choker. Hold slack in the yellow strap and slide the pull choker up the pole as you climb. Use an easy motion, climbing with your legs, and using the pole choker for balance and support. If you cut out, the pole choker will restrict your fall, if properly adjusted, to two feet or less. In these next clips, pay a special attention to the climber's technique, hand position, and style. As you climb, the pole will narrow, requiring the yellow strap to be shortened to maintain a comfortable distance from the pole and to keep the PC roller in the correct position. Here are two different methods for shortening the yellow strap while maintaining the PC roller position. The first way is to grasp the yellow strap just in front of the buckle frame and pull yourself up and into the pole slightly. At the same time, take the other hand and slide the PC roller back on the brown strap. As you sit back, you will notice two things. First, you are not closer to the pole. Second, the PC roller is in contact with the pole. The second method is to grab the outside strap of the brown strap, pull it out and push it away from you while at the same time leaning in. The end result is the same as the other method, closer to the pole and the PC roller on the pole. Either method is correct and very easy to perform. Use whichever method works best for you. Once you are working, you may want to extend the length of the yellow strap just to get a little extra reach down the line or the end of a cross arm. This can be done using the adjustment feature of the ejector snap. To lengthen the strap, just grab the handle of the ejector snap, pull it out, and lean back. The strap will pass through the adjuster until it finally stops at the leather patch. To shorten the strap, use the ejector snap, grab the handle and lean in to take pressure off the webbing, and pull on the strap at a 90 degree angle to the handle. But we'll only shorten an inch or so each time, but with a little practice, it can be done quite easily. To turn around a pull, simply move left or right as needed. When moving away from the PC roller, the unit may bind slightly. If so, just grab the strap at the PC roller and pull it around the pole. Climb up to the obstacle, then take another half step so the pole choker is slightly below your waist. Check the position of the PC roller and the overall adjustment of the device. Place the secondary lanyard above the obstacle. Remove the cross strap and place the ejector snap into the parking ring. Now, disconnect the pole choker from one D-ring. If the pole choker is hard to remove, simply move down slightly to reduce the tension on the device. Once the pole choker is removed from the pole, step up, Pull the secondary lanyard up about a foot or so. Place the pole choker underneath the secondary lanyard and connect to your D-ring. Notice that by always keeping the secondary lanyard above the pole choker, they will not get tangled either on the pole or in your D-rings. Remove the secondary lanyard and you can work from this position. Or if you need to move further up the pole, clip the ejector snap into the sliding D-ring, verify the adjustment and the PC roller are correct and continue the climb. Place the secondary lanyard around the pole, above the pole choker. Remove the pole choker and begin to step down the pole. If you're crossing multiple objects, extend the secondary rope to reduce the number of transitions. Place the pole choker around the pole, connect the cross strap and verify all connections and adjustments before you continue your descent. To rescue someone that is using the pole choker, Simply cut either the brown or yellow strap anywhere and the injured lineman will be released from the pole. Do not cut the pole choker until the victim is secured with the rescue line. Constantly check the position of the PC roller and make sure it is against the pole. When climbing or descending, take only two inches or three fingers of slack in the unit. 
be aware of the position of your hands to keep them from interfering with the operation of the pole choker. The cross strap must be connected when climbing, descending, or working more than two feet above an obstacle on a pole. Climb a pole that has U-guard on the side the U-guard is located. Keep the PC roller engaged on the pole. The pole choker can also act as an extra set of hands when installing U-guard on a pole. Step poles can be climbed with the added security of the pole choker by simply working the pole choker over the steps as you climb. Inspect the pole choker before each use. Pay close attention to the PC roller and the ejector snap and remove the device from service if it does not meet all the inspection guidelines included in the packaging.